Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by completing the square. So the very first step is that our leading coefficient must be 1. In order to make it 1, we must divide this leading coefficient by the same number. That means we're going to divide it by 234 to get it 1. If you divide this one by 234, you must divide across the board. 234, 234, and 234 divided by each and every term. So that means we're going to get this 234 and 234. They give us 1x square plus we got. You can see over here. You can see this one over here. Whenever you have a 1, you can see over here. Do you have a decimal? We want to remove this decimal. If you want to remove this decimal, you put a 0 on the denominator. So that means this part is going to simply become 6, 7, 8, 8 divided by, you put down 2, 3, 4, and you put a 0 to remove this decimal times x minus, this is going to be 1 equal to 0 over anything is 0. So the next step is we want to make sure that only x variables must be on the left hand side. That means this negative 1 must go on the other side. So we can write as x square plus 6, 7, 8, 8 divided by 2, 3, 4, 0, x equals to when you move this negative on the other side becomes positive 1. In the next step, I want you to just focus on this coefficient of x, only this part. Don't worry about this sign. I want you to just put down this, whatever this quantity, 6, 7, 8, 8, divided by 2, 3, 4, 0. Whatever this amount is, I want you to divide this quantity by 2. Dividing this one by 2 is same as multiplying by 1 over 2. All right, now let's go ahead and simplify this thing. This 2 divides into this thing as how much? That's going to become 3394. That means we simply got this thing, when you simplify this thing, this turns out to be 3394 divided by 2340. Once we simplified this thing, the next step is whatever this quantity you got, you must square this quantity. And whatever this quantity is, you must add on both sides of this equation. So let's go ahead and do that part. So let's go ahead and write down x square plus 6, 7, 8, 8 divided by 2, 3, 4, 0 x plus equals to 1 plus. What that means is now we're going to go ahead and add this quantity on both sides. That means I'm going to add 33.94 divided by 2.3.4.0 square on this side and same quantity 33.94 over 23.40 square on both sides. Now I want you to look at on the left hand side over here this part 
only this one on the left hand side this represents a complete square of x plus 3394 over 2340 square equals to this one could be written as since we are dealing with the fractions I can write one as a 1 over 1 plus this the square of the fraction is same as I can write the square of each part. I'm going to write down 3394 square divided by 2340 square. Now if you are wondering how did we get from this point, this step to this one, how we completed this square, we use this well-known fact a squared plus 2 times a b plus b squared could be written as a complete square of a plus b power 2 this is what i did so over here x moved right up here this one here whatever this quantity inside the parentheses it showed up right up here and whatever this sign this is right up here now let's go ahead and simplify further. Let's go ahead and put it down this one. I can write x plus 3394 over 2340 square equals to, now we want to make sure that we should make the same common denominator. How are we going to make the same common denominator? By just writing one as 2340 square divided by 2340 square which is same as 1 plus you can write this thing as same 3394 square divided by 2340 square so far so good since we got the same denominator common denominators we can write as simply 2340 square and on the right on the top is going to be on the numerator is going to be 2340 square plus 3394 square and obviously on the left hand side is going to be x plus 3394 over 2340 square. Now in the next step if we use the calculator over here I did the calculations over here you can see that this quantity over here is same as this one over here so I'm gonna go ahead and replace that one so I can write this one as 16 99 divided by just leave that one as it is 23 40 square and obviously this is gonna be x plus 3394 divided by 2340 whole square so far so good now the next thing we want to isolate x we want to get rid of this square we want to undo this square so we must take the square root on both sides i'm going to take the square root on this side and i'm going to take the square root on this side as well as you can see this square and square root they undo each other we got x plus 3394 over 2340 equals to positive or negative just keep in your mind and here I can break it down I can write as the square root on the top I can just simply put down 16 99 48 36 divided by the square root of 
2340 square. All right, let's do the next step right now over here. As you can see over here, this once again, this square and square root, they undo each other. So let's go ahead and simplify further. We can write x plus 3394 divided by 2340 equals to positive or negative the top when you take the square root of this quantity that is going to give you i want you to use a calculator that's going to give you 41 22.48 divided by this thing they both cancel out so we got 23 40. So far so good. Now the next step is we want to isolate this x. So I want you to move this quantity on the right hand side. So once you move this thing on the right hand side, so we got x equals to when you move this positive on the other side, this positive sign become negative 3394 divided by 23 40 positive or negative 41 22.48 over 23 40. As you can see we have the same denominator I can write as I can write as negative I can write this thing as the common denominator 2340 over here. Since the same common denominator, I can write 30, negative 3394, positive or negative 4122.48, and this is equal to x. So our, we are almost finished. Let's go ahead and simplify this one. We're going to split this up along these positive and negative signs. So here I have split, split them up first with the positive sign right up here and then with the negative sign over here. Let's go ahead and simplify this one since these are positive and negative unlike signs so we're gonna subtract so that's gonna give us positive 728 point four eight divided by twenty three forty and if you use the calculator so x is gonna be approximately equals to zero point three one one so this is one of our solutions and over here when we combine these one so we're going to add them so this is going to be simply negative uh, 75 16.48 divided by 2340 once again use the calculator and you're going to see this one that is going to become x is approximately equal to negative 3.212 that is another solution so thus uh, x is approximately equal to negative 3.212 and x is approximately equal to 0.311 are our two real solutions thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos